This is Tim Tucker, AE6LX from WorldWideDX.com. Today we're looking at the Super Antenna YP3 uh, Yagi antenna that I've set up in the backyard here. Um, this is a portable antenna that works for 6 meters through 20 meters. It has uh, loading coils uh, for a that is used on several of the bands you can see right there. I set it up on a tripod in the backyard to focus specifically on one interesting thing that you'll see here in the picture which is this prototype 12 volt super antenna rotor uh, that was going to be brought to market a couple years ago and, and never made it. There's only a couple in existence and I managed to secure one of the prototypes so we're going to take a look at it today. Uh, you can see I've got it set up here on the tripod and uh, as I pan back over here on the table where I have the controller set up, I can get a look at this. It has LEDs that indicate the direction that the rotor is turned. Uh, these don't quite work correct um, um, where there's a story behind that but it, it wouldn't be difficult to fix. Uh, left and right. Here this is a calibration um, for the indicator on top. On the back you can see is where the, the proprietary control cable plugs in. There's a rotor speed control and the 12 volt in. I've got it plugged into a wall wart. So take a look at it here. So I press the buttons, you can see how well it's able to turn this full size, uh, su the, the super antenna at, at its full size, and it's not a full size 20 meter Yagi, but uh, you, you get an idea of, of how well this thing actually does work. Turn it back the other direction. There's a, there's a really uh, significantly sized gear reduction motor in this thing, obviously. You can see it does swing a little bit. As I let go, there's not a break in it, but uh, it, it does work pretty good. I'll turn this thing up, turn the control speed knob and see what kind of difference that makes there. Go the other way. And you can see the, the, the mass isn't uh, tightened up real good. That's why it's, it's uh, swinging around a little bit. Uh, this is just set up for a quick and dirty demonstration in the backyard. You would want to do this a little bit more securely than I've done if you were really going to use it. Uh, the thing is fairly significant in size. You can see my hand. It's uh, pretty heavy too. Um, this mass that I'm using here is not significant enough to support the weight of, of this antenna with this rotator when it's extended up. I actually tried it and the thing fell over. Well, I caught it before it fell over, but it would have. Um, <clears throat> so you need a pretty significant uh, mast to use this, but it, it does work pretty well, as you can see. So there you have it. One of the uh, only known uh, to be in existence prototype 12-volt uh, portable rotators uh, for use with portable antennas uh, from Super Antenna. Uh, if you want more information on uh, this antenna and other ham radio products, visit the Worldwide Radio Forum at www.worldwidedx.com.